Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you GD Script in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to teach you how to get your character to jump and then update the code to make the jump more accurate in physics. Um, namely, making sure that the physics starts moving the direction that we want for a platformer as opposed to a top-down. So to start, let's make sure and go back to your player.gd script. And we are going to start adding stuff. First off, let's add a new export variable called jump speed. And jump speed is going to be the speed that you are jumping. It's going to be a vector two because we're still working in 2D. And it's actually going to be negative 100. So remember, Positive in Godot is down because the origin is the top left. So positive is down, negative is up. So up is negative might be a better way to say that. So jump speed of negative 100 will be negative 100 units up. Next, we want to go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add, add it right here, a new function called move jump. And then similar to before is action. We're actually going to use just pressed. So just pressed, remember, says, has it been pressed once? If you hold it down, it will not keep firing. So this will only go the first time that you press it. And then again, if you press it again, but if you hold it down, it will only fire once. Move and collide, move. Jump. So there we go. That actually has to be a variable. And then we are going to add it to move jump. So our physics process comes in. It checks to see if we're moving left. Then it checks to see if we're moving right. It checks to see if we're jumping. And then it ha adds the gravity on. So let's go ahead and save that, press play, and now we jump. So as you can see, it looks kind of weird. Um, that is because, well one, we can jump even when we're not on the ground, so that's not good. And two, the character just kind of teleports up in the air. And that's actually because we're using this move and collide. So what move and collide does, if you hold control and click it, moves the body along the relative vector, which is what we're giving it. And it will stop if it collides. What this means is every cycle, every physics frame, we are moving up 100 units. So it does a calculation to see if we can move 100 units up. And if it does, it moves us 100 units up. Otherwise it will move its maximum amount before hitting a collider and stops. The problem being, that's not what a jump normally is. When you jump on the ground, you don't teleport two feet in the air and then gravity kicks back in. You actually have to exert some force and then gravity takes you back over time. So instead of move and collide, let's go back to, there we go we are going to be using move and slide because it takes a velocity. So what that change does is it says we want the velocity to move up this way. So we're setting a velocity. So if you think in a car, if you could say all of a sudden it's going 60 miles an hour, that doesn't mean that it teleports forward 60 units or 60 miles. It means that its speed is 60 miles an hour and it will start moving the second that you say it. And that's what we want to do here is set this linear velocity. So the nice thing is all we have to do is take, copy this move and slide and anywhere we have move and collide, we can put it in and we save. And when we play, we notice that yes, we are moving at, let's see, our uh, 
player's gravity is six. So if you remember, we were moving down six units per frame. Now we're moving down six units per second. So let's go ahead and change that. We can multiply each of these by 60. And this is actually really fun. In here, you can just use multiply or add or subtract or any of that, and it will update it for you. And now it's the same as it was before. So if you notice, this jump speed is negative 6,000, and it's still doing the same kind of teleport issue. All that's because negative 6,000 is a lot of pixels to move up in one second. If we did something like negative 360 times two, so twice the gravity, you can see it is jumping, but it's not quite jumping as much as we want. And that is actually caused by this move and slide. If you see right now we're setting the speed to negative 100, or I guess in this case, negative 720. And then right afterwards, we're setting it to positive 360. So if we move that, you can see it jumps a little higher, but not much because we are changing the overall velocity of the player each time. So if we go ahead and comment that out, we can lessen this and let's just say that it's negative 360. And if you see it moves up, but the problem is we're setting it to zero here because the move speed is zero. So each time we run one of these, it's actually setting the overall velocity in the X and the Y. And we, we don't want that. So let's go ahead and set this back to negative 6,000 and move this back to where it was. And before we fix the issue of this, of the uh, teleport jump, let's fix the issue of we can jump as many times as we want. And to cover that, we are going to be moving on to the next lesson, which is looking a little bit more at move and slide, what move and slide does, um, and then also looking at the function is on floor. And I'll explain what normals are because they play a big part in move and slide and is on floor. So see you next lesson. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.